What is the crack, lads? We're back with the Spain player pack review. So this is the national team pack for Spain 2022. And Spain, obviously, are dominating. They dominated in the World Cup in their opening fixture. And they look incredible, man. They looked absolutely incredible. They definitely are the team in the tournament so far. I would say them and Saudi Arabia are probably the teams of the tournament so far in terms of one with pure determination and grit. And... Uh, die hard kind of like a you know die hard kind of never say die attitude and then spain with just this the spanish flair um and i know a lot of my spanish friends were were blown away by what their team produced but anyway this pack is actually very decent it's 900 coins uh which puts it in line with the german pack the english pack and the netherlands pack and all the rest of the packs that are releasing and that will be released going forward you've got 11 really good players i think the only problem with this pack is that a lot of people will probably already have a lot of these players because you know there was the man city pack there was the barca pack um which means that you'll probably have a couple of these players here and then obviously as well as that there's one or two players in here i think that are kind of hit or miss um so it just depends your play style uh, as you can see there there's a couple of them that need a few more levels to be really really op but yeah pedri is probably the one that springs to mind there um it's a pity that gavi isn't there i would have liked to see gavi there um and maybe kind of one or two more of the bench players or not the bench players but busquets isn't there either so yeah there are there are a couple of notable absentees as have been the way with these packs but we are going to start at the top we're going to go over to eFootballDB.com in just a second uh rodri is going to kick us off unwavering form unbelievable player skills he doesn't have blockers as a dmf but you can train him in a, in a in a lot of different ways as an anchorman and a lot of people have been asking me to make a video on the different play styles so i will be doing that either tomorrow or the next day hopefully get it done by saturday um i've just been really busy at the moment so we are doing a lot of player reviews because that's what a lot of people are asking me to do but yeah rodri is a very good player you know really good dmfs in eFootball 23 or a dime a dozen but rodri is a very very good player don't don't let his stats fool you um he can be trained up a little bit faster than he is here but but we will, we will show you guys in just a second. We are going to go through every player uh, one by one over on eFootballDB with their max out levels. So as I said there, lads, tackling 90, 90 aggression, and then 90 low pass, 91 kicking power and 89 stamina. Everything you could possibly want from a player um, in DMF. And he's also got really nice tight possession, which you don't need to touch that his base stat there and the dribbling and ball control are really high as well but look at that defensive stats there and he's also a big unit lads he's 191 centimeters unwavering form yeah he's definitely one of the players to get if you are looking for a really solid anchor man next up we've got the flare man himself pedri one of my favorite players i think he's absolutely incredible lads i love watching him i try to watch him as often as i can for barca and for spain now in the world cup he is going to be one to watch he's definitely one of the best players in the world i think for his age and his stats are just off the charts lads incredible stats 90 90 90 for all the dribbling stats 91 for low pass 85 lofted 92 balance 80 speed and 80 acceleration so as well as doing a, a video on the play styles i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up and what you need to be looking for if you are using if you're using three man midfield or you're using a two man midfield one dmf and one cmf if you're not using an AMF, I will show you guys what you need to be using, what player you need to be using, what play style you need to be using, depending on your own play style, whether you're an actual dominant possession type, type player or you're a quick counter type player, you might be wondering what players to actually use. And I bet you it would make a big difference to you um, with a small bit of advice that I kind of I kind of learned from talking to a lot of people and playing a lot of games. So yeah, this guy Pedri, if you are going to be boosting him up, I would say that is what I would do. I'd stay away from the defensive side of his game even though he is able to win the ball back and stuff i think pedri is probably a top 10 card in the game his standard card is unbelievable now this card here is slightly better in different ways this barcelona pack plus he's got 29 levels um this guy only goes to 23 levels so this card is probably the best one that was ever released but it's still a very 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 high card and it brings him in line with the player of the week version that released Moving on, we have got Marcus Lorente, again, one of my favorite players in the game. I don't really play with him too much on my PS5 profile, but on my Xbox account, I play with him a lot. I think I have this version of him that I got, that one there, one out of seven. I think he's maxed out. Um, but yeah, very nice card. And if you are going to be playing him as a box-to-box -box and you don't have somebody like Davids or you don't have somebody like Vieira, uh, even though they're defensive-minded players, I definitely think Marcus Lorente is, is a perfect player there for you. He's got everything. Excellent, uh, you know, very 
very, 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 very good stats on dribbling, passing, and his speed is very good as well as his stamina. So yeah, he's definitely worth it as well. We've got Simone, who's the keeper. Not really the best keeper that you're going to get, but if you do get this pack, he definitely is good enough to stick in the in 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 the in the goals. Very good player. He kind of looks like Seamus Coleman in that picture there. We've got Pau Torres, another player that's a little bit slept on, I would say, because you've got a very tall uh, center back here that's got blocker and heading and man marking and area superiority, as well as having nice passing stats, which you can boost up a fraction if you want to. But he's got really nice speed and acceleration, lads, as well as 92 defensive awareness when we max him out this way. Now, if you wanted to take down one on that, you still have 90, 90 with his defense or his defensive awareness. Um, you can leave all his speed. You can leave all of that. That's not a problem. But if you wanted to, you could boost up his dribbling just a fraction just to get that ball control to 75 and then one into that and then one into that. You're going to have a really dominant center back. Remember, like, look at the height of him. He's really, really tall. He's like a faster version of Van Dijk but he doesn't have that defensive capabilities and also similarly if you want to just get rid of his speed you could do that as well I mean you don't need to have that much pace there uh, I like to have a bit of pace in my five man back if I am playing that you could probably get away with that and then put three into defensive there and still have one left over for that if you wanted to um, you're going to get a really dominant player there we've also got Jordi Alba a very good player, really good left back. There's been loads of different versions of him, but this one is up there with one of the best ones. Obviously, the Barcelona pack was really good. Uh, this Barcelona pack was really good. That's probably the version I would use the most. He's my favorite uh, version there. Um, but obviously, this guy has got unwavering form. And also, he has got the play style proficiency with everything there as well. 82 speed, 80 acceleration. Loads of really good player skills. There are a couple of... Um, couple of different ones here but yeah he has every player skill that you could possibly want for that left back position and he can play left left midfield as well so if you don't have Roberto Carlos I would definitely check out Jordi Alba Koke very good player as well very decent and adds to the selection here he's kind of like Marcus Lorente except slightly better passer and not as fast so you can take everything I said about Lorente there and, and, and move it to them uh, Laporte as well the same as kind of Pau Torres he's got the height he doesn't have the speed but he does have the defensive capabilities and it depends how you want to train him up you can train him up in different ways you can leave that at 90 and you could boost up his aerial ability a little bit uh, or you can leave that off and you know boost up and leave the dribbling off if you don't want that on leave the passing off and you can boost up his speed a little bit so it depends how you want to train him but yeah there are, there are better center backs there than him in my opinion we've got Danny Almo obviously was excellent in the world cup opener for Spain and this guy is very very decent lads he kind of reminds me of Totti he's kind of in the hole he's not the fastest player but he's still got 86 acceleration so if you don't have a really solid AMF if you are looking to play an AMF you've got this guy as a super sub as well so that's always going to be important you've also got Morata as a super sub so the two those would be really good to bring in off the bench you're going to get an ex excellent amf and an excellent striker um there are better strikers than Morata there there are better amfs than danny almo but his card is really good his form lets him down at two and Morata's is the same they don't have unwavering form so that's just something to keep an eye on um but other than that yeah you've got really two excellent super subs there if you don't have Haaland or you don't have kiesa or you don't have somebody that's coming on as a super sub them two boys are very very good and then last but not least we have torres Ferran Torres, who is a really good winger, left wing, um, as you see there. Good speed, good ability, everything going for him there uh, that you could possibly want. 90 dribbling, 90 speed, 90 acceleration. That's all you really need. The balance and offensive awareness could be a little bit higher. I think if this guy had three more levels that you could get his offensive awareness and balance up to, I would say, maybe 86 that would definitely be an OP card, trust me, because he's also got nice curl and passing ability as well for a winger. So that is it for me, lads. That is it for the Spanish pack. I will be back quite soon with another video. We're going to get back to Dream Team Chronicles quite soon as well. Until next time, lads, peace. Don't forget to subscribe.